Muhammad from Jordan asks a very important uh, a question. And unfortunately, this is a Q&A program. Otherwise, I would have spent and taken the rest of the program to talk about this important issue. Having good manners, or what we know in Arabic as al-akhlaq, the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, that a man on the Day of Judgment would reach the highest elevation of Jannah that only those who are martyred in the cause of Allah and those who pray all night long and fast all day long would reach by having good manners. Subhanallah. And the Prophet والسلام, said that the closest to me on the day of judgment in paradise from among you are those who have good manners. Now, what do we define by when we say good manners? Is it when I enter a room and a, a lady wants to come in, I open the door and says, ladies first, and she's not a mahram? <laughs> this is not good manners because she's not a mahram. You should not gaze and, and look and talk and do all of these things, it's un-Islamic. You go on your way, she goes her way. Is it good manners to hold the fork with the left and the knife with the right and cut the meat and eat with your left? This is un-Islamic, haram. What do we mean by good manners? Good manners is to be forgiving, to be kind, to be generous, to be courageous. To be polite, not to use abusive uh, 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 words, not to slander people, to observe what comes out of your mouth, to learn how to smile when you uh, meet people, of course, from the same gender, not from the opposite gender, uh, and so on. So good manners is a lot of things that all fall under the umbrella of Islam. Now, the one million euro question or shall I say the one million Kuwaiti dinar question is, how can we attain this beautiful characteristic throughout our lives? Because we noticed that when we, are, when we were young, we were, we were a bit rude, uh, impolite, disrespectful. And then at a certain time of our lives, we started learning dip diplomacy, being polite, um, being kind. It, it gives us a lot of credit. But when, when we grow old and our hair turns white, we come or, or we become grumpy. Most grandparents are a bit grumpy. They're unable to tolerate the children when they play and they start to shout and scream and become angry. And, and so how can we attain this through our lives till we die? Muhammad, this is a beautiful question. And if you spend your life working on it, wallahi, it's not a waste. The first thing is that you look into your beloved prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's biography. Read his seerah. Read the books of Ash-Shama'il for a Tirmidhi, uh, uh, for a Tirmidhi or uh, uh, even a Suyut would do any uh, uh, Shama'il that is authentic and try to impersonate him sallallahu alayhi wasallam in everything that he used to do. How he treated them. A beautiful book by uh, uh, Sheikh Al-Munajjid. And this book shows you how the Prophet ﷺ used to treat his wives, his children, his servants, the non-Muslims, the newly reverted Muslims, his companions, his neighbors, those who were openly sinners, those who were secretly sinners, all types of people around you. If we manage to uh, uh, adapt this in our lives, and implement it, then you will be among those who will be 
close to the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. May Allah azza wa jal make me and you among them. Uh, and Allah knows best.